Hello there guys, my name is Coach Shadonkster Born but built for theme parks and welcome to a theme park newsroom update where today we're going to be checking out the construction of the brand new Mac Extreme Spinning Coaster coming to Plopsland Japan in 2021. We've got some massive construction pictures, I can guarantee you guys of that. Uh, massive shout out to Plopser Updates for the construction pictures that we're going to show you in this video. Uh, we've got some work on the support structure and also the station building for the brand new roller coaster. Uh, first of all, you can notice. <laughs> Uh, nice trim going on there. Um, <laughs> yeah, just got it cut this afternoon. Um, if you watch the second channel, you'll check out the video that we did earlier on there, and you'll see this firsthand. But um, first of all, before we get started, massive, massive thank you guys for the support on the Silverwood theme park video uh, that we did uh, with the interview and the the videos we've done on that project, and you know the video that I released, the channel update about doing that whole thing and uh, that was really nice to do and to receive that support as well is fantastic so uh, thank you very much guys for that um before you get started guys make sure you like comment subscribe click the case bell so you never miss youtube video merchandise video merchandise showcase is coming tomorrow so stay tuned for that and for now guys let's check out the construction pictures from the site of the brand new mac extreme spinning coaster coming to 2021 to pop slender pan so thank you once again to Plopsa Updates for the construction pictures and as you can already see on your screen the supports are up. Big new construction pictures show uh, the support structure being uh, created next to the, the top of the lift hill building for the super splash attraction which is what the, the coaster sits next to. Uh, and as well as that the station building is also coming along for the ride with these sort of navy dark green fence like structure I guess like a steel frame kind of structure a navy green colour um, for the for the main support work of the station so hopefully during the winter months and going into 2021 uh, we'll start to see more theming work and start you know getting some uh, wall material and some roof material uh, for this station building and also finish off the details towards uh, the opening of the row which I expect to be around the end of spring kind of period. So there we go, that is a look at the latest construction pictures. Now I'm going to share my thoughts on the construction. Firstly, I've got to say this, uh, first of all, I definitely think this is a really good progressing coaster. I think that the progression of the coaster support structure and the station building has been fantastic. The track will come soon, I hope. The supports are definitely here on site, so uh, you know they're going up really, really well. And um, you know, time travel is a really developing construction project. Obviously, the track's been finished for the Welby Belgium Mega Coaster now, so I will do an update uh, on that. Well, that one from there. <laughs> um, but yes, I will do a Mega Coast construction update where I've got the track finished, pictures ready, everything, you know, zippity doo dah. <laughs> but um, looking at the latest construction here on Town Travel, it's very clear to see the support structure is up and the station building's got some work done to it. And. You know, very good work at being done with that coaster, and I think that uh, Pops Under Pan have really progressed. I think they've kind of seen the mega coaster construction projects and how that's progressed, and sort of taken notes from them a bit with the, the continuation of the support structure being put in place, and you know, stuff with the station building. So I think the mega coaster at Wilbur Belgium is more ahead than the Pops Under Pan Extreme Spinner, but both of them are up at a reasonable pace. So I think that. Uh, this one will be completed in 2021 along with the Mega Coaster at Welby Belgium. And, you know, these are the two sort of major European coasters from scratch in 2021. So I think that, you know, you're looking at this project, you think this is going to be fantastic. But the Mega Coaster at Welby Belgium, that's also going to be fantastic. Um, now, of course, we don't have anything else in terms of name and theme yet. We've not heard anything from name and theme, so we've got absolutely no idea what the name or theme is going to be for this coaster. Uh, the code name, of course, is Time Traveller. We have the early indication of Robo Spinner, but it is going to be Time Traveller and uh, as a code name. So, uh, hopefully, by the winter time, we'll get an official reveal of the name for the ride uh, and what kind of theme they're going for. I think we're looking potentially here at uh, some kind of like, like a sci fi steampunk kind of theme, I guess. 
Uh, so I think that's the kind of theme we're looking at for this ride. So hopefully, fingers crossed, you know, we'll get confirmation of that further down the months uh, but from the construction we showed you in this video I am very very excited for this I cannot wait to share with you more on this ride uh, like I said merchandise video coming tomorrow and also we've got the uh, construction on the mega coaster coming tomorrow as well so stay tuned for all of that but for now guys thank you very very much for watching this small construction update on the pop sander pan extreme spinning coaster make sure you like comment subscribe and for now guys my name is coast shell keep living the coast life and i'll see you guys next video very very soon take care guys have an awesome day